viewers, the listeners. Today we are continuing on with our adventure in League of Legends rank game series. My name is Terlord. My name is Yuri, also known as Terlord. Now, basically what we are going to do in this session, we are going to finish off our promotion games. We played 7 out of 10. Which I believe, I believe we had, we had four wins, three losses. We have three more games to play. Now, hopefully, we are going to be having three wins or two wins. Hope uh, is that we are going to end up uh, in uh, Platinum, somewhere in range of Plat 4, Plat 3. I don't think that we will be skipping Plat 4, but uh, it would be nice if we did. But basically, point of the matter is, try to win as many games, try to have fun, and for me, a task to try to teach you some of the basics about League of Legends, about champions that I play. And maybe you will learn something new. Maybe you will go to do the same things that I do. And maybe because you watch me, because you watch my educational content, you will be having more wins, less losses, and more fun. Now, in the past games, I had a bit of a problem with CSing. Let's see, have I managed to fix this issue? Or have I not? And let's also see if I will be able to carry our last three promotion games. Now I believe, I believe, let's actually check if uh, the new champion is out. Uh, champions, nope, set is not out yet. Hello, Yuri, hope you will have a good time in ranked. Why, thank you. I hope you will have a great time also. I'd like to say hi to everyone who just tuned in. My name is Terlord, and I am streaming League of Legends for Sander Yevitz Twitch channel. I'm the second streamer on uh, this channel who plays uh, League. The schedule for my streams and for uh, Xander Yevitz streams can be uh, found either on Twitter or in Twitch below the video or on YouTube or on Facebook. Basically, they are posted everywhere. And we are trying to keep our viewers up to date with uh, schedule changes, uh, with everything that's happening. So that you will going to have easy time following us. So we immediately, well immediately, jump into our game and we are assigned into jungle. Hip hip hooray. A role that I do not play. Okay, we... I believe in... I, uh, in the last part we played jungle. We won a game in jungle with Y. No, no time. Uh, not really. Uh, just because I... would like to play a champ that I am accustomed to, at least in promos. 
because since we work, I haven't played Nunu. And generally speaking, it's a good thing if you are not trying to play something that you do not know how to play in ranked, if you are plan planning to win. You might win, you might lose. The chances that you will lose are really high. All right, let's see, let's see. Ooh. Well, I'm not, I'm still thinking that I'm top lane, but I'm not. I will probably pick Vi again. Though I have to keep in mind that Vladimir is pointless to ult, unless he will going to use his pool and later on Zonia's. So we are not going to have an AD, AD, AD carry. We are having Heimer. Uh, Senna might be an AD carry. Lately, a lot of players are shifting towards Senna AD carry. She grants a lot of um, basically free AD, free stats. Okay, so... Um, it's probably Mundo jungle. Heimer could play top. He can, but uh, Heimer AD, AD carry is not uh, something new. It's kind of usual stuff. Let's pick Fi. Punch first. Ask questions while punching. Now, this set of runes, I think it's okay for me. Relentless Hunter, just for movement speed. Cheap shot, because I tend to CC people with either Smite, or Q, or Ulti. Electrocute also, okay. Yeah, so it's Mundo Jungle. You have to be aware of uh, Mundo's damage and his clear speed. He is one of the, like, has a very decent clear speed. I'm not gonna say one of the best, but a very decent. Vi is not that really strong when it comes to 1v1 in uh, early game. So we have Darius against Aatrox. Should be good. Hopefully. Our general idea in jungle is going to be farming, ganking. At least try to hit like uh, two ganks pre six. Also, not dying. Now it's gonna hard. It's gonna be hard to gank bot lane, simply because it's like what Leona stun and Senna root and long range Senna attacks with also glacial augment for extra slow. Ganking meat is kind of 50-50. All right, start with machete, potion and ward. Warwick right now is harder to play if you compare him with Vi. He is tankier than Vi. And his early game uh, ganking potential is way better. 
He is more of a sustained tank that also does uh, quite decent damage. In terms of harder, yes, a little bit, because you need to get accustomed with his uh, mechanics. Now in the bot lane with... Okay, he warded. Fine, fine. I get you. So slow, slowly but surely we are going to be... Working towards our top side of the map. Wolves, blue buff. Last time I went for raids. This time I'm not going for raids. I'm gonna need a bit of concentration in terms of what I'm going to be planning on doing. Right now I'm gonna take the blue buff. I don't think that I should be going counter jungling with Vi, especially against Mundo. I'm gonna save Smite for Grump. The cool thing about Vi is her damage and her shields. They allow you to basically soak a bit of damage. Extra damage. Now let me do this. Okay. So Mundo probably either started top or he is top right now. Yes. Successful gank. A successful gank, which means that we are rushing straight towards our jungle item. We ping that he is here, and we run straight towards bottom lane scuttle crab. Hmm, actually, we might ac we might go for a bottom gank, bot lane gank. We do not need to. And we go for a scuttler. Now, even if the Mundo is going to show up, I'm not afraid of him because I have item advantage. Now, let's gain this. We might just go for another top lane gain. Okay. Now that flash from Mundo was basically he was afraid. And my idea was to flash smite him. And I missed the blast cone. No problem. Here I, come to save the day. Or... I have to kill Darius. I'm gonna probably go with a Langing, since he probably warded this side.
I hope not, but just in case. Actually, this is great. Let us take his plate. And this is actually good. Do we want to take a third plate? It's not that good. But yeah, we might as well. No, I... Okay. Okay, so we go back to base. We buy items and we immediately go for Inferno. We can take an Inferno. We are stronger than enemy jungler. Basically, we take red buff to get six, and then we go straight to Inferno. Now, Aatrox is down two kills, Aatrox is down three plates, Aatrox is down in CS. I see that Mundo is clearing his top side. Now let me do this really quickly. Well, let's hope enemy bot lane does not decide to just randomly go here. Alrighty, first Drake. And let's gank bot lane. Easy. I have ult. All right. Let's check the enemy jungler. He is not here, we take his jungle. Surprisingly... What's in your opinion is better role to carry games, mid or jungle? Mm, it depends on how well you play. Basically both of them are kind of the same position. Okay, so we buy boots. Let's see. AP, AP, AD, AP, AD. In terms of crowd control, yeah, they have crowd control. And they do not have a fast, uh, fast auto attacking AD carry. So our top lane died. Uh, so Herald is on the map. Dragon is up in three minutes or so. Which means we are going to go straight to top. With clearing jungle, our bot lane, our mid lane are doing wonders. I just have to help top lane. Okay, so he cleared my top side. Okay, he has two wards here. Let's clear them very fast. Alrighty. Even though that this is not really... Alright. <laughs> That's actually good. Let's pick up the scuppler. Immediately probably we're gonna go for rift.
big brain on a killing spree. Yep. Well, let's actually go... Oh! Oh, that's actually quite good. He won, we want him. So nice. Start the game like this. We immediately going to take Harold. Okay, so Lat is down. Let's drop a Harold in the mid. The reason why we dropped it in the middle, because soon the Drake is going to spawn and we need the first tower. Let's cover his retreat. Okay, slowly but surely we are building advantage. Mundo's ultimate is down. I probably should have gone back to buy stuff. Not so much to regen myself, but to buy items. Let's kill Vladimir. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's okay. Even though I missed like a couple of cues. Still okay. Now I want this dragon. I have smite, we have we have number advantage. GG probably, yep. For some reason I am better playing in jungle. Like jungle is not that hard, as you can see. You are leveling quite fast, you just have to play smart. Okay. Buy this, buy this. No, actually, Sheen is better in this situation. Go this, this. And go for a full clear. Now, Nautilus is probably dead. No, he's not. Yeah. They are flashing for him. Now we all have shutdown gold on us. Which means, which means the stuff like that, that's happening. Is actually quite bad. I'm planning to just basically do a full clear. And extend my lead. Now this Mundo, I believe he was like farming whole game. Because if now... This guy is like still almost even in CS. Nothing kills but in CS. Okay. 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 Everything is okay. Now I need to get my level 10 here. They're forcing fights and actually they can win. Like then they do not really need us. Or maybe they do. No, they don't. I've cleared 
The whole bottom area. Yep. I'm strong. In general, before Baron spawns, you can only kill and summon one Rift Herald 2. They change it to 2. Their stats are weaker, but you can kill 2... You can manage to kill 2 Heralds before Baron spawns. In last season it was 1. Okay, I'm gonna take his jungle. Now I'm generally strong right now, but I still do have to watch out because I have no armor. Well, sort of no armor. We can buy a Triforce. And with Triforce we are basically two items, two items in. I mean, they have nothing to lose, they are basically doing those weird plays. Yeah, we go straight towards Herald. And with Herald, one good teamfight will going to end the game. Now, generally speaking, as far as you've seen, like, you do not only just farm your jungle as a jungler. You try to set up ganks. Like especially with that Aatrox. You, you saw even though I like missed my Q. I still managed to beat him. Make sure that you extend your lead. And help your team. Here I'm just gonna go in. Let me actually drop a herald. And let's take this tower. Easy as that. Like It's so easy to play jungle that it's insane. You do not need big brain or make some big plays. Just set up a couple of gangs and that's it. Oh yeah, and there, there is also a thing that you have to keep an eye on, and it's this. Drakes. Guys, Drakes, season 10, season of Drakes. You do not want to just randomly give, give up dragons. You want to Take them all. Okay, we are chasing. So is this solve? My ult is kind of pointless to use against Vlad because he can just Pull. Use pull and you're going to have your ult on cooldown and you're not gonna hit him with it. Alright, so they have healing, healing, we do not have any. We have one healing reduction. And because of that, Executioner's Calling and an armor. That's basically it. Like, why is not that hard? You max Q first. Well, you start W, then go with E, then go Q. But you max Q first, then you max E, and then you go for your W. With addition to leveling up all T whenever it's open. Our team is overextending a bit. 
We should... We should actually force Baron and just end the game. Because meat is open, bot is almost open. I'm waiting for my team to actually come here. I'm gonna start Baron. My da my smite damage is 720. Which means I have to watch for the Baron's HP. Like that. Could have smited better, but whatever. It's not like somebody was contesting it. Wow, I'm s And by the way, this Senna just got deleted. And let's end. GG! First win of the day goes to us. Okay, let's give an honor to Darius. 5-3 now, yep. Overall stats of promotion series is 5-3. Uh, okay, they give me a lot of season rewards. Yeah, we are, if we win two games more, we are going to end up in plat 3. So let's immediately jump into the next one. And we skipped promotion. Let's open this. Uh, Legend 7 emote. Yeah. Don't care about those. A lot of shards. Can. Oh, this is almost over. We will manage to do this too. And then I believe we're going to just buy something. Collection emotes. I like this B emote. Not the bees, basically. Also, we are top lane. Hip hip hooray. We are top lane. Almost first pick. Oh, it's so sad. Whatever. So in top lane, we'll ban Fiora. Not that it really matters in GP. Once again, I want to play something that I'm accustomed to. Okay, let's see. Mord Ben in the top lane, only Mord and uh, a few are banned. Judging by the looks of it, enemy top laner is somewhere from second and fifth pick, not the first pick. I could be wrong. Yep, I was wrong. Cannon. Actually, Cannon. Cannon, Cannon, Cannon. And they dodged. I was thinking, like, yeah, if it's Cannon, we can go GP. Now we are in. A little bit better position. We are almost last picks.
I really want to make those two games two wins. Ben Fiora. I haven't seen Galio in a while. And I don't think that they buffed him. Yeah, I'm mean the same. I believe they will gonna have that same cannon. Although last time she didn't ban anyone. Yeah, I felt it was all Galio was better. Imho. Uh, kinda. Yep, he was. Okay, so we do not see enemy top later. In that case, well, let's see. Hmm. Let's go, Cammy. Precision is the difference between a butcher and a surgeon. Let's go Kami and let's see. Hecarim. Hecar uh, it can either be either Kazik top or Hecarim top. Let's go this and this. Yeah, I think we should be okay. Yeah, it's Hacker on top with Ignite Ghost. We have to use our TP advantage. Hecatop is still a thing. Uh, apparently he is. Even though I haven't seen him in a couple of months. Apparently he is. Or maybe he just picked... Picked him for whatever reason. Okay. Let's see. Now with Ignite top, he will going to try to just cheese me. Little cheeser. Welcome to yeah, I think I'm okay with this. Against little cheesers. Play safe. Yeah. Efficiency is paramount. Our team is four men invading. Good. Good, good. Hmm, they didn't waste any summoner spells. Also, people are starting to use Omni Stone Room. It's like two people in our team are doing so. 
Okay. This can turn into a disaster. Okay, he's pushing. I've started with E because this guy's playing aggressive. What the stone does, uh, it's randomly uh, gives you a random, basically, rune stone. You can have like one rune stone and then immediately we're going to have another one, like after five second delay. R randomly generates one rune for and uh, when you use it, when you use it, it changes it to another one. All right, so he is slowly starting to get out of mana. I have biscuits and I have pots, which means that he... Okay, I wish I had my level 3, I would have killed him. A cheeser with ignite though. If I'm gonna kill him, I'm gonna have like a huge advantage. Because he doesn't have a TP. Our Olaf is not going top yet. Now we're gonna have to back away. I don't want to play with fire. I'm gonna TP. And I'm gonna punish him for overstaying. Since he doesn't have flash, no does he have or nor does he have TP. I'm gonna freeze this. And that's basically it. Early game Hecarim is not really strong. And usually Hecarim bring he takes teleport. I don't know why this one did not. And this one is a very greedy Hecarim. I'm tempted to go and kill him one more time. Yep. Why didn't he press his Q? He could have killed me. Whatever. Yeah, I got lucky there, right? Like a good Hecarim is not doing this sort of stuff. And now once again, the wave is slowly pushing into my favor. 
Once again, he doesn't have TP. Next time I won't gonna have my ulti, but he won't gonna have Ghost, he won't gonna have Ignite. Yeah, he's gonna push, but like once again, I'm not that concerned with him pushing it because it works in my favor. And I'm actually maintaining a decent CS lead, and we are going to get a first Drake. Uh, the thing that I have to be aware of is the enemy jungler. Since Dragon is not up. Okay, Hecarim is level 6. Okay. A bit of a trade back and forth. Now ideally I want to hit my stuff. Yeah, I see him, I see him. I'm well aware of Hecarim. Probably spam pinging Kha'Zix to just come top. Two versus one, they can kill me. Especially because I run Inspiration second tree. Missed one minion, whatever. Drop a ward here. Kha'Zix may be sitting here. Uh, his ignite probably is up. The thing that I can dodge, I can dodge his uh, charge with my uh, ulti that's a huge thing i'm also not utilizing auto attack resets properly Yay! He is actually not that good. But whatever. If it's gonna bring me a win, I'm up for it. And I got my boots. I'm not gonna overstay. I have no reason to. Now I'm dominating this lane. I want to get my Sheen and I want to get this. Couldn't he use his ult to escape yours? No, he cannot. If it will not gonna throw me from... basically from my ring, it will, uh, you will not gonna be able to escape it. That's basically it. He would have used it and he would have um, bounced back right into it. As you can see, I'm doing pretty good damage to him now with my short bursts. As you can see, he cannot do anything against me now. I'm just gonna snowball from now on. Let me get a plate. No, Kha'Zix is here. Whatever. I'm gonna help Olaf. 
but they will probably gonna come here. I'm gonna ping that my ult is almost up. I'm not willing to go base just yet. Yeah, he is already scared. Let me get the cannon minion. I wasted my second Q. Could not get my true damage. Now he has Ignite, I do have to be aware of. Yeah, I'm dumb. I am really dumb there. Made a mistake. Yeah, they're shut down in our team pretty hard. Myself included. Yeah, this is bad. Double shutdown on Hecarim side. Well. thing that I can do right now is just push in this wave and try to get a plate. I should have just played with in and out, you know, the kind of tactic that I used. Because there isn't, there wasn't much that he could have done. Yeah, unfortunate, unfortunate. And you know, right now he is forcing me to just basically go Ninja Tabby. And to TP into the lane. Oh well. Adding a little spice to the game. He is missing. I don't think that he went for... No, he didn't. And with my mid laner in bottom, oh, Herald is not up. Okay. Wow, even through boots. Oh, League of Legends. One hundred armor, and it's like I do not have any armor. Yeah, he does damage. Does damage. Yeah, yeah. Such a great idea for him to die for Camille. Little cheeser would ignite.
I'm just gonna take this tower. And push this wave in. Yeah. And go for Drake. Also, the fact that he heals has to deal with him using his aura when he fights me and minions. I'm going towards Dragon, simply because why not? I don't know, Hecarim probably went towards Rift Herald. But I'm planning on just pushing bot lane. Uh, Hecarim might flank them. The thing about Camille, especially if you get your lead, just split push. You take towers decently fast. Okay, I'm gonna take this tower. I'm gonna keep pushing. Okay, this is pathetic for me, actually. Wow. This AD carry survives with like 1 HP. It's not that she survives, it's me who is... Wow. Messing up timings on my cues. I want to take the red buff. Yeah, now you will not gonna escape. I made a mistake. I got charmed by Ari. Nope, I wasn't charmed by Ari. I used my ulti to dodge her charm. It was just me messing up with the timings. Yeah, now I'm paying, paying for them. I'm just gonna run away. I have a bounty on my head. Boy, I'm good. I'm so good. <laughs> Let me push this wave properly and go back. I have TP. Enemy team is just getting... Getting their beat down. By a couple of wards, because why not? We are trying to be basically a team player. 
I'm gonna take this tower. It's not like they can do anything to stop us. I want to bring this wave so that we can get the bot lane tower so that then we can get an inhibitor and then rotate towards another dragon which is the fourth one of the game which is a huge deal as you can see again again i'm not <laughs> such a poor performance by me and yeah there kha'zix is afk might not need another dragon. So yeah, it's GG. Actually, I played my lane phase. I could have got, gotten out of the lane without... without basically any losses. Any deaths. Uh, let's give an honor to whomever, to Swain. Okay, so let's use this opportunity to welcome everyone to the stream. My name is Yuri, also known as Terlord. I am playing Click of Legends. Currently, as you can see, we are almost done with our promo games for Season 10. I do hope that the next game is going to be a win. And if it is, we are going to skip Plat to Plat 3. If we are not, we are gonna start the new season in Plat 4. Hopefully we will win. Now, a little bit about me. I've been playing this game basically since season 1. The only season that I have missed was season 7. Usually I got to um, well only in season 9 did I manage to get to like what uh, diamond 3. Um in other seasons I mostly finished in plat 1, plat 2. Mostly in plat one. Role that I'm maining is top lane. I uh, I do not think that top lane is a strong role, but I still play it. Additionally, I throw in some mid lane games, and as you saw in previous stream and in this stream, the games that I played in jungle, I managed to win with pretty decent score, with good map coverage, ganks, etc. So I can play a jungle a bit, but usually top and mid. Uh, currently, and for a long time already, for a long period, uh, top lane is, a, is the least impactful lane in the game. Usually a jungler is just gonna left you, gonna leave you with no ganks. And you will be forced to 1v1. Even in situations when, where you can't 1v1, you will be forced to play 1v1. So if you want to play uh, top, you really have to understand and that it's not that easy. It's really not. It's pretty, pretty hard. Especially with so many counter picks, with so, with such few impact that you have on your lane or from your lane into the team fights. You only start to be in fact impactful in. Mid late game, and you really rely on either mid or bottom to not get fat 
Because if they if they do, oh, well, you're gonna have a rough time. So, vain Lux. Is this another Camille game? It might be another Camille game. And it actually is. Precision is the difference between a butcher and a surgeon. Got no idea. Got no idea who the enemy top laner is. Rennington. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Into Rennington, I don't want this. I want shield bash and I want bone plating. And the guy will be all inning me. Yeah, we are probably gonna leave Conqueror. Although we might go with PTA. Now here's the thing with uh, press the attack against Rennington. If you do not zone him, beat him in around first two, three levels, basically put him on low enough HP, you are not gonna beat him. That's why, you know, we are going conquer. Even though he probably will gonna build full AD, this is only tank and this is squishies. No. Still still gonna go with Conqueror. And we are probably not even going to fight him. Yeah, he has Ignite. Ignite PTA and his Camille in general. You mean about what? About um, Camille versus, versus Rennington or what? It's in Camille into Rennington matchup that if you go PTA, this means that you have to try and beat him starting from level 1. You go with level 1 Q and you just try to force a fight with him on level 1 and beat him with uh, Q auto attack. Auto attack Q, auto attack Q, and auto attack. And if he gonna eat it all, you want the trade. If not, and he gonna disengage, well, good luck. Oh, it says Camille in general. It's Camille into Rennington matchup. Right. I do not think that I'm going. No, I'm actually going. Doran Shield. Let's be a bit tanky. And since he has Ignite, it's another cheeser lane. They saw us. Okay, we are moving towards top lane. I expect Zach to start top side.
for actually that purpose we are going to drop a word here. No, he didn't stop start topside. But we will see him when he will going to be doing his rat and immediately back off. Okay, Rennington also started the shield. Okay, two for two. Gonna regen a bit. Now those traits are not in my favor. But once again. Yeah, let's go back a bit. He probably either started either went with E or W. Leveled up W second just for CS. Okay, it was a good thing that I managed to pop a shield before he did, did the thing. Yeah. I probably should have flashed there. Probably. And he's gonna go back. My skills eliminate the chaos of Piltover. Let me actually try to set up a freeze. He's going back towards lane. Yeah, there he is. Yay! Nice, nice. Good game from Rek'Sai. I can still maintain my freeze. That's actually really good. Let's actually go with max Q. We're gonna go back. I actually do not want to push this. Lame. No, actually I have to push this in. Push this in and go back. Yeah, we have to push, like push this another wave. I'm gonna have to TP and push it. I didn't manage to do it in time.
excuse my E right there and my W that went in into complete nothing. Okay, let's take this plant. I might set up a, a gank on Lux. Yeah, I'm gonna go for a Lux King, though our RE doesn't have ulti. Sometimes scars are the most refined you can wear. Uh, he's freezing. And I'm not using the fact that I'm level 6. Uh, I have to keep an eye on his... Okay, he wasted his W. Once again, little traits. Actually, I wasn't even paying attention to the map and I didn't saw Rek'Sai. Hmm. I don't think that we can take a plate. With Rek'Sai we can actually take it. Rek'Sai is already 4-0. And, and it's actually good because Rek'Sai... ...is a good early game jungler. With a decent pressure. Yay! We go back. So, Drake is a priority now, just like Rek'Sai said. Which means I have to be aware of. Okay, so he went Lethality. Yeah, let's do this. Just like I said, he will be building for Lady. But his first item is not Tiamat, which means he is not going to... How should I say it? He is not going for a wave clear. But rather more... hit oriented to build. build. Your behavior is unacceptable. Oh, like it's either way that he's going to build Either way, this guy is going to build uh, Yomu's Ghost Blade, so just delay it. I mean, once again, Okay, disengage, go here. Okay. That's actually not bad. But the fact that we lost a fight on Drake is it is. Yeah. Okay, we'll push this in. For the problems of Piltover, 
Did he took a flower? I believe he did took a flower. Lame. Yeah. Took a flower. Unbelievable. I wanted to take it to regen myself. So his ult is down, he doesn't have like full rage bar. Hmm. Yeah, if I'm gonna stay, this will not gonna turn on well. Aldo? Let me check. He probably went back. In this case, just fast push this. I'm still not that good at like counting how exactly how much damage my champ can deal. Yeah, Vayne is fat. Okay, he got ninja tappy and I'm going to buy them also. Hold on. Oh, ninja. Ninja tabby and this. Let's try to take top tower. No, I wasn't able to take it fast enough. That vein, the fat vein is an issue. They swapped lanes. Like it's seven seven, but boy, a fat vein is definitely a problem. Also, I cannot stay there. Oh, we can actually force a fight there. Interesting. This is so not good. No. This is pointless. Like this... And she had a flash. 
Guys, this reaction. I assume there was no point for Jinx not to flash that suck jump. There was no, absolutely no point, yet she didn't. Calm down, we can still win, it's only 3 kill difference. It's seriously a problem. I could at least take Dragon, please. Please do not engage. This is going to be a tough one. And she's not going crit build, which means... Oh, this is going to be um, like, I cannot 1v1 her. No way. And I'm not even going to try. It's pointless. Because if I'm gonna go like 1v1 against her, and just jump on her with ulti. She's gonna use ult stealth herself and just beat me up. There is absolutely nothing I can do. They are trying to collapse on her. Only to get collapsed on. I'm taking this tower. I don't care, I'm taking towers. It's split push game that I have to win. Not fight against Vayne. Yeah. I saved Ari and yeah, I shouldn't have. Because Ari disengaged and I forgot that I didn't have flash. Okay, yeah. And Vayne got the kill. Yeah. And this is absolutely pointless. No slow for auto attacks. Turn mail against no crit team. Yeah. We have to fight 5 on 5 for try to force 5 on 4 
This Drake will going to give a bit of a region, HP and I believe in mana region. Wonder if my team will actually going to force a 4v5 fight. Yeah, they might. Just let them have this Drake. Flash. Will they actually ward Baron? They will not. I have to split. Splitting currently is uh, and, and the only option, except forcing a 5v4 team fight. She has QSS. She has QSS for charm stuns. There is no point to like I'm all I'm trying to do is split push. They really should not just go in. Okay. Once again, I don't think that anyone in our team can one v one Vayne. So as soon as I see Vayne I run away. I'm not even remotely close, and I don't think that I am going to ever be remotely close to fight her. Like, Rennington is manageable. But fighting against Fed Vane... Yeah. No, it's pointless. It's GG. I'm not going to do anything here. Yeah. It's over. It's basically over. Like, yeah, as you can see, it's like, what, what's the point of you as a top lane? What can you actually do into this? It's the problem that was like for how many seasons actually? For God knows how many seasons, the problem of fat bot lane just completely rolling over the enemy team. It's like third season in a row. Third season. They haven't fixed it since then. Pointless, absolutely pointless. Yeah, 
Yeah, better life next game because this 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 you'll do nothing against it. No matter who will say what will say. Like as you can see, what what can I do there? Even if I set up, even if I s set up my ulti. It's absolutely pointless. You have to rely on team, but you cannot rely on, on what? On this AD carrier or this mid laner? Yeah. That's why, I, as I said, top lane is completely, it's utterly worthless lane. So pointless. Why even like give AD carries everything that they actually need to just be completely ignorant of enemy bruisers, assassins? They they do not care. Like why 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 would they care? They can just face tank you and kill you. Yeah. Plan to change my main lane this season. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go with me. At least it's a lane where you can play the game. And not be 100% depending on roles to carry you. Yeah, so next item that we are going to go is probably going to be, I don't know, armor is pointless, whatever. Oh yeah, also at this point of the game, Sona can just spam her abilities, still do damage because she builds AP. So yeah. Once again, like Ari blown her flash just to dodge Zack's jump. No, 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 we cannot even, we, all that work just to get, just to get Vayne's J. A flash, an ult, Nautilus ult, Rek'Sai ult, Rek'Sai flash, my flash, only for one J. no. It's at the point where I'm just gonna force surrender, I'm not interested in this. So, so worthless. Yeah, full tank Nautilus just got blown up because he had not absolutely zero MR.
What? We are trying to get Baron? How exactly? I think we're gonna try to, but... Nah. Basically have five seconds. Ah, oh, whatever. What gives? Just hit the Baron, guys. Yeah, Nautilus is dead, basically. Come back time, lol. Ah, I hope, but and again, I will see. I'm I'm not gonna predict anything. Or Drake is up. Or Drake is important. Like what else is important? Elder Drake is important. Baron is important. Jinx not wasting her ultimate is important. Everything has a place. I swear, everyone who plays Ezreal and Jinx are like, we are gonna make a place with our ult. Oh well. No. What is no no not not with this mid laner not with this AD carry. Let me out of this game. So we are starting platinum four. Yeah, who? Got a whole platinum to beat. Yeah, Rex, I tried to play. Whatever, you win some, you lose some. Placements. Jinx. Whatever, she wasted her ulti on checking. Baron, she was auto attacking someone. Yeah, whatever. So, our placements end up in what six four? Yeah, six four. 6-4 placement starting plat 4 Ah, well, okay We win some, you lose some, it doesn't matter Let's open the box Yay, more icons And let's see what we can buy here. Random champion shard. Mm, emote. I don't need champs. Actually, how many we have? 48. Another one. So, so. What 
are we going to be doing now? Let's open those emotes. Let's see what we will get. <laughs> go team. Yay, go team. To the victory. Easy as. Okay. Whatever. Collection icons. Okay, into the next match we go, hopefully. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to change roles. We'll change roles after this game. With primary mid and secondary top. Though the system might throw me into top by default. Due to the fact that not too many people queue for top lane, and a lot of people queue for mid lane. Fiora, we ban you. Mid jungle roll? Yeah, we can. And we probably will. Because as far as I can see, not that much has actually changed from previous seasons, and top lane is still... Top lane is still top lane, so to speak, with even less uh, impact on what's happening on the map. Okay. Or be who will be our opponent? Mort. All right. All right. If it's a more top lane that you want to pick, fine. Hmm. Listen, trash. Let's throw in some gangplank. The flames nor their depths could claim me. Let's throw in gangplank then. Rest of the undying. Demolish. Conditioning and overgrowth. Yep. Alrighty. Got a little bit, a little bit of an issue here. <laughs> 